Still no sign of Mayor Catherine Pugh. It has been almost a month since she took a leave of absence, and just yesterday her homes and offices were raided by the FBI and IRS. WMAR 2 News' Aaron McPherson joins us live now from right outside of Mayor Pugh's home. Anything tonight, Aaron? We've had crews out here all day today and yesterday monitoring the home, but still no sign of the mayor. There were a couple of visitors, doctors both days, as well as her lawyer who had a very similar message today that he had yesterday. This is the Ashburton neighborhood in Baltimore, a quaint community where Mayor Catherine Pugh owns two homes. Oh, I voted for her. I endorsed her. I in told a lot of people to vote for because I believed that she had a sincere heart and she genuinely cared about the people. A tune that changed that for this man who's lived next door to Pew for the last 20 years. And I have to tell you that I have been disappointed over the last two years consistently with some of her decisions for the city and for the people of the city. Mayor Pew has been under fire for the controversy surrounding her Healthy Holly children's books and on Thursday, her homes and her offices in City Hall were raided by the FBI and IRS. They had mounting evidence coming out. Despite city council members, citizens, and even Governor Larry Hogan calling for her resignation, Pew has not given up her seat as mayor. We don't want to try to compel her to make decisions that she uh, isn't comfortable with or able to reasonably and rationally make on her own. Stephen Silverman is Pew's attorney. He says she's too ill to make such a big decision. She's been on a leave of absence since the beginning of April, fighting pneumonia. We are just trying to get to a level of physical and mental stability so she can make material decisions. Silverman says he knows what she wants, what's in the best interest of the city. But she has to make that decision on her own when she's thinking clearly and feels physically up for it. I know she where her heart is. She is a soulful person. She cares deeply about the city, despite what some people think right now. It's been a struggle for everyone involved in the city, but many are hopeful it will end soon. We will survive this. We will survive this and maybe we'll get a good mayor. Pew's attorney says he plans on meeting with her again on Tuesday. He's hoping then she will be lucid enough to make a decision and give some answers to the public. Reporting live in Baltimore, Aaron McPherson, WMAR 2 News. All right, Aaron,